Alright, welcome back once again YouTube. Today's video will be removing these stock mirrors and we will be installing some bar end mirrors. Let me show you what we have here. These are basically Chinese copies of the uh, CRG arrow mirror. They look almost identical to the, to the CRG models and there are a ton of different Chinese versions of this on the market. I'll put some links to those down in the comment section below so that you can check them out. I saw them on Amazon, I saw them on eBay. I picked these up for $40 a set. The prices seem to fluctuate a lot. Uh, for example, I went back to check the same exact link that I ordered these from and the, the price had changed from $40 a set to $100 a set. Uh, but I've also seen them on Amazon for around $25. For a pair. The reviews that I've read are not all favorable reviews, but I think they kind of got a bad rap because of the because of the bar and mounts that are included with the kit. The mounting method that we're going to go over today is going to be a little bit different. It's going to utilize the stock bar ends and it's going to be a lot more secure and should hopefully rectify the issues that, that was listed in some of the feedback. So let me go ahead and show you exactly what's included in the kit. You do get a pair of mirrors just like this and you get these bar end mounts. It's also going to include two Allen wrenches for, uh, for mounting the mirror. Now if you'll notice that the bar ends that are included with the kit are really lightweight and are, are very cheaply made. So we're not going to utilize this. We're going to stick with the, the factory bar mounts which are, which are solid steel which are threaded into the handlebars and will actually reduce vibration and make this a much much more secure setup. So I'm going to show you exactly what we did. A few things that you are going to need is a piece of half inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe. Uh, doesn't, you, don't, you really don't need a whole lot. Just a couple of inches of pipe really is all you're going to be using. But just to make it easy to, to handle the material, um, about a two foot, a one foot to two foot section would be ideal. And you're going to need to remove the stock bar ends, an uh, 8mm Allen uh, or ratchet to plug the mirror uh, where the stock mirrors are removed, the bolt holes where those mirrors come out. Uh, I picked this up at, I believe, AutoZone. It's a 5 16 inch um, plastic plug that, that, that's going to go inside of that hole and fill those holes once we remove them. Something to cut these because you do have to trim the length on them. You'll need some blue Loctite for securing all your bolts and you will need some something to enlarge the inside diameter of the pipe and I'll explain that. Alright so the first thing we're going to need to do is uh, get a measurement on the actual flange width so we know how much of uh, how much pipe we need to cut. It looks like it's about three eighths of an inch thick. So we have to do two different things. Number one, the outside diameter of the half inch pipe is almost perfect, They're almost the perfect size that we need to match the diameter here so that it doesn't have any interference with the throttle tube on the throttle side and it doesn't stick when we turn the throttle. However, the inside is gonna be a little bit tight. So what I'm gonna do is, there's a few different ways you can do this. If you have a Dremel tool with a little uh, sand, sanding bit, you can clean it out a little bit until, until it fits easily over the threads. Or what I'm going to do is I already have a 5 8 inch drill bit, which is just about the right size. So I'm going to drill into the end of the pipe and open up that opening so that it fits over the threads. And we'll do that before we cut the pipe because it's a whole lot easier to handle a 2 foot section of pipe than it is to handle a 3 8 inch section of pipe. we need to do is cut two pieces of this uh, 3 8 of an inch wide. Okay so we'll go ahead and remove the stock mirror. Uh, this was the right mirror so it is a left hand thread so we are going to turn it in the direction that we normally would tighten for it to loosen up just like so. Alright, that's it for that. We'll take that one off. 
Okay, so the last thing that I'm going to do before I mount these on the bike, um, to give it a more secure fit, a little more tightly around the uh, around the bar end, is I'm going to file down a little bit of this uh, of this inside edge here where the, where the two halves meet. Um, that's going to allow it to clamp a little more tightly around the bar end and keep it from moving around. Now again, I'm going to use a uh, I'm going to use a Dremel tool for that with a grinding wheel on it. So uh, we'll just grind this down and it'll be ready to mount. that's gonna get it. Now we can go on over to the bike and put these on. So once we slide our plastic pipe over the threaded portion of the bar in, it's gonna look like this. Okay, so now we're ready to put this on to the bike. Um, we're just gonna put this on over the bar in. We are gonna put a little bit of blue Loctite on the thread of the bolt so it doesn't loosen up with vibration. Alright, once you have it tightened down and where you want it, uh, just snug it down and make sure that it, uh, it stays pretty secure on here. And now we can go ahead and fill in the holes where the stock mirrors were removed. I'm going to take a couple of these 5 sixteenths. plastic caps here and what we're going to do is because the length uh, that they come is going to be a little bit too long for our application so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to cut this very tip of it off just like that now we can insert it directly into the hole where we removed our mirror. Press it in firmly, and that's it. So that's gonna do it for today's video. If you've got any use out of this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll be back real soon with the installation of our integrated tail light. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.